Hey guys, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab and just wanted to do a very quick video. I'm not going to get into any big details here about the Pioneer Rev 7 hooked up with Virtual DJ because it now has support. Everything works exactly like you'd expect out of the box. The only thing that doesn't work on a Rev 7 is of course your smooth echo out. That is a Serato exclusive thing only, but everything else does work. Uh, you can operate your stems from it, of course, because, you know, Virtual DJ has the ability to um, isolate vocals and bass lines and drums and stuff. So that works. Basically, the pads, you can set them up any way you want to your liking in Virtual DJ. But the main important things is the fact that it's bang on, no leg, has no issues whatsoever. Uh, sounds good. You know, platter control is tight as you would expect it to be with Serato. Um, don't know what else I can say about it. This is a Microsoft Surface Pro i5. Um, didn't get the i7 edition because these things run hot anyways. You get an i7, it's just going to get really hot and it's going to throttle the CPU down anyway. So this i5... Microsoft Surface Pro 7 running Windows 10. It's not, I didn't upgrade to 11 on it. Runs this thing, no problem. And right now, one of the benefits as well to a virtual DJ for anyone who doesn't know is you can stream off Deezer. Deezer's only like 10 bucks a month Canadian. Is it can I think it's Canadian or US, I forget to be honest. But it's cheap. Deezer has access to a lot of stuff. Um, in some ways, overall, I feel like Deezer has more access to music in general of multiple genres than you're going to get off Beatport Link, which obviously is more expensive. And BeatSource has a big catalog as well. But once again, it's more expensive. So this is cool that it's got access to Deezer. Virtual DJ has a couple of their own um, streaming services built in that work very well good for karaoke as well there's a karaoke service you can subscribe to so if you're a uh, a wedding dj you know open format dj virtual dj just has so many more features than serato could ever have um visualizers you could stream your stuff online straight through virtual dj without having to use obs there's multiple skins you can use to customize things the way you like it it really is worth it. Um, Virtual DJ, of course, is not free. You're either spending Canadian, it's like, I think, almost close to 400 bucks, or you're spending 30 bucks a month. If you're a working DJ and you're out there gigging, 30 bucks a month is no big deal. Um, and if you want to invest and pay for the whole thing, you can. There is a home license for one controller that is a cheaper 125 bucks. If you just plan on sticking with that one controller and that's it, that's not a bad way to go either. But Chances are, I haven't purchased it yet. You get 30 days free with this thing when you plug in any new controller. They always give you a 30-day trial for whatever you plug in on the home use. And uh, I've been contemplating it because it will run. I got multiple systems here, so I may just spend the money and buy the program so I have it on all my systems. Anyways, that's it. Just wanted to do the video showing that Virtual DJ does work on the Rev 7 with no problems. And most importantly, that it works great on Microsoft Surface Pro because there are touch interfaces for this as well too that you can download and you can customize and all that kind of stuff. So no need to always run out and buy a MacBook Pro. Microsoft Surface Pro is a great portable system that runs great with a DJ set. All right, I will talk to you guys all later. Don't forget to hit the alert button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you all soon.